So let's suppose that I take an object, let's say this marker, and I release it at the surface of the Earth, or very close to the surface of the Earth. Well, the object, the marker, will accelerate downward to the ground. Why? Well, because a net force acts on my object. The net force comes from the gravitational pull of the Earth on our object. Now, we can find the value of the gravitational force using our law of universal gravitation equation shown here. So, the force is equal to the gravitational constant multiplied by mass of the object, my marker in this case, multiplied by the mass of the Earth, which is 5.98 times 10 to 24 kilograms, divided by the distance between the center of mass squared, which in this case is the radius of the Earth, 6,380,000 meters. Now, notice that according to the second law of motion, my object accelerates downward because a net force acts on my object. So we can set this equation equal to m times a. And if we actually want to calculate what the acceleration of the object is on the surface or very close to the surface of the Earth is, we can. Using this equation, notice the m's appear on both sides. So the mass of my object, the marker. So I can cross out these m's and I'm left with our acceleration at the surface of the Earth is equal to the gravitational constant g multiplied by the mass of the Earth divided by the distance between them squared, so the radius of the Earth squared. Now notice the acceleration of the, of the object is independent of the mass of the object. And that's exactly why a very light object and a very heavy object will accelerate with the same exact value. So let's find what this value is on the surface of the Earth by plugging in our knowns. So we know what the g is, 6.67 times 10 to negative 11. We know what the mass is given here, and we know what the radius is given here. So we plug the values in, we plug them into the calculator, and we get that our acceleration of the object, which is commonly known as simply g, is equal to 9.80 meters per second squared. So at the surface of the Earth, objects accelerate downward towards the center of the Earth with a value that equals to this g, so 9.8 meters per second squared. So, now let's suppose I take the same object and I place it on top of a mountain that is 8,000 meters high. So we want to calculate the gravitational acceleration of that object found on top of our mountain that has a height of 8,000 meters. So we have the same exact procedure except now instead of using the radius of the Earth, we have to use the actual distance from the center of the Earth to the top of the mountain. So 6 million 380,000 meters plus 8,000 meters. So, once again, we set up the same exact equation and we see that g, our gravitational constant on top of the mountain, is equal to the same equation as we saw here. So we plug in our values and we find that our gravitational constant g on the top of the mountain is approximately equal to 9.77 meters per second squared. So on top of the mountain, the gravitational acceleration is slightly less than this value found on the surface of the Earth. So it's approximately 0.3% less.